Hey guys, Joshua here again. Thanks for stopping by. Hopefully the street is pleasant. We're going to find out. As we hang out, we're kind of at our old stomping grounds. This is the nicest it's been here at this location since we've been here last time. So we're going to hang out here for a little while. I got some topics I'd like to cover. You know, we'll see what happens with that. You know, I don't want to have too much downtime because I don't like to talk too much. But if you see in the background, there's a lot of kids studying, hanging out, sitting down. They may be ready to have some conversations. So I'll go over there and approach those kids, be a little bit more intent about having conversations. Got the hammocks out. The blankets, just they're just relaxing. They probably don't want to think very much, you know. What a, it's ironic they're at school, but you know, when I bring up conversations like, you know, satellites not existing, you know, they don't want to. They don't want to think about that. They just want to be told what to think. They want to be given the material to read. Highlight it, remember it, be tested on it, and then if they don't remember the regurgitation of their education, then then they fail. So they don't want to fail. They want to uh, they want to be able to remember this so that they're accepted by their peers. And the consensus here is we live on a spinning ball flying billions of miles through space. Hey wow. ladies, how are we doing? Billions of miles. I know, right? Too bad NASA's a fraud and satellites aren't real. So, a lot of these kids, they get their... As you've seen the last two days, these kids get their idea of space from Hollywood. Verbatim. Kids have said that. So if you're just joining, we're still in Dinky Town. Hey Nikki, thanks for stopping by. Hope it's good in the UK. It's a beautiful day here. It's about 18, 20 degrees. A little bit of a breeze, but it's, it's not so bad. In Minnesota, you're never going to get away from the wind. It's just, you can't avoid it. Hey, how you doing? I'm terrific. It's a nice day out. I know, right? Yeah, what up, man? Okay. How you doing? I'm good. I saw this shit. What? Yeah, dude. Explain. So really, I or like, tell me what you know about it. Well, it's, you know, it's my opinion. I don't know everything. Yeah, for right? sure. Uh, but that. you know, with this statement, what does the statement do for you? I don't know. It raises a lot of questions. It does. Yeah. Considering uh, you want to just kind of analyze the picture, and we'll kind of go from there. Well, this picture right yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it looks like a satellite. Okay, does it look real or fake? It looks fake. Yeah. It's CGI. Yeah. Yeah, it's a Zaviasat satellite that's supposed to be launched on June 1st in France. So this is a picture of a satellite before it's even left the ground. This, however, is a satellite. This is what they tell us is in the sky. Yeah. But what does that look like? That looks like... <laughs> yeah, right? Right. And this may or may not be a working model from a bunch of 8th graders in a science project, right? They probably won a science award for this. So I guess my point is, is if you Google image satellites in space... I have, actually. Yeah, and yeah. all you get is this, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty... Yeah. It's pretty damaging, right? Yeah, it is. And it really makes you think, like, about a lot, you know? I hope so. And it makes so, me. It what makes are you me, doing? You just like spreading the awareness. Yeah, yeah, man. Um, you know, have you ever done this? Yes, 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 yes. Isn't this a fun yeah. one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, <clears throat> so when the inconsistencies of where we live are prevalent, and all of it's CGI. Then, like, what is? Yeah. What conclusions should you come to, right? I know that it gives me shivers, actually. I know, right? That's why, like, I I like to like. That's why I'm a science major. I oh, like okay. to have facts. Like I like to know why plants grow. Like why? Yeah, 
that's DNA. science, man. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. just explain reasons and, like, that shit, it's, like, it's not very, uh, like, fundamental, like, fact, like, it's not fact. Like, no, it's, it's not. It's just, it pisses me off. It's but, not. Like, I know, man. But, like, the thing is, like, what can I do about it? What, what? You're looking at it, man. Yeah. This is all I can do. This is, this is the best way for me, personally, like, I do Google Hangouts with Flat Earthers. Yeah. I hang out in chat rooms, I listen and watch videos and stuff, but... For me, my own personal opinion, I can do that all day and hang out with like-minded people. Yeah. But these kids aren't going to go into a flat earth blog yeah. and openly hear what somebody has to say about that. So I just kind of came to a conclusion that this is the best way to advertise. You're right. And uh, in Minnesota... I like, I like the dress. Hey, thanks, man. Yeah, I just want to look professional. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you're familiar with like duality and masonry and the establishment. Yeah, Black and white, yeah. you know. So I'm just kind of using like it against them. But I like flame. Yeah, That's right on. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I just, um, I, from my past experience, I'm confident talking to the public, and I know the laws, you know. Yeah. So Minnesota is one of 39 states where you can openly videotape cool. anybody as long, as long as you're on, you know, public property, yeah. and as long as you have one person consenting. I'm the person that needs to consent. Yeah. And there you go. Yeah. You know, All right, well, so, hey, that's the blog. Like. Yeah, if uh, if you're interested, I do have a YouTube channel. What's your YouTube channel? Authentic Intent Social Experiment. Right. Yeah, you'll just run right into it. All right, that and uh, you got a piece of paper? I got a pen. Yeah. I'd love to. But you gotta have a phone. Though. Yeah, hey, that's even better, man. Subscribe already. Yeah, that'd be are. great, man. I really appreciate yeah, it because no uh, I do Facebook Live right now. Yeah. Um, How's but that? it's all right. I just uh, down. I just upload them onto YouTube, but. Um, I need a thousand subscribers to go live on YouTube. So. My YouTube is updating. Oh, yeah. of course it is. But yeah, uh, what's your name, man? Patrick. Joshua. Oh, Joshua. Oh, that's all right. It's all good. Tell um, about that. We can't change. No, that's all right. But uh, yeah, Patrick, cool, man. Um, and so, what other things like are you curious about, like in general? Uh. Like, like what do you? Because uh, you're open-minded. You're you're very. Yeah, I like to. Open-minded, and you don't. Have a con I mean, some people yeah, have I'm concrete not, views, yeah, but yeah, exactly. I, I hate that actually. Yeah, um, I like being very open minded to everyone's opinion and everyone's suggestions because, like, who am I to say that my opinion is more prevalent than like anybody else's? Yeah, and that's why that's why I'm here because what is my opinion? Yeah, right, well, but you got like my people on, yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah. Authentic social experiment, authentic social experiment. Yeah, that would work. Right. Yeah, I got you, man. All right, right on, Patrick. Right on. Yeah, good to right. see you again. I'll be around here too. Right. So, see, hope to see you around. That was good. Like-minded individual. Open. Open-minded. Questions the authority. So, yeah, question about gravity. Authentic social experiment, that would work. It's a few less syllables for somebody to remember. Couple minutes. Uh, I don't know. I still got a ways to go. There's a lot of sunlight ahead of us, so I think kids will be out, probably getting off work, maybe getting out of class. They want to go hang out outside. So in a little bit, maybe around six, 45 minutes from now, I'll go over to the park and talk to students and interrupt their happy time and ruin their life and irritate them. And then you'll he you'll see them cover their ears and go la 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 can't hear you. Don't give me an alternative view from the establishment. Ah. So. Got a lot of people here coming.
Yeah, you mock, but you won't engage. So you can laugh and walk away because that's easier to do and find out why I'm here. That's fine. Ignition and another fake satellite is being launched. $61 million down the drain. Forget the poor people and starving children on the earth. We need to send fake satellites to space. Because NASA's real because they tell us. Even though you never verbally, physically seen such an event happen. We're back live. We've been to this location before. This is a good spot to hang out. There are classrooms here. There's also dorms. And at this time tomorrow, stay tuned, we'll be at Comic-Con. Ruining lives and separating families because the Earth is not a spinning ball. rid of that spinning ball idea, a lot of people... How you doing? So a lot of people can't let that go, because if they do, evolution is destroyed. How you doing? Satellites don't exist. And if they did exist, I probably wouldn't do this anymore. What keeps us from floating off the flat Earth? Is that what you mean? Well, you just weigh more than the air around you, you know? You just just standing here. The Flat Earth Society will tell you that we are accelerating upwards and that's what gravity is. Flat Earth Society is controlled opposition. They're used to give you some facts and then there are Alex Jones on the bit. When you say no planes you freak out. So Flat Earth Society gives you a lie. <clears throat> to go along with gravity, because they still use the word gravity, you know, so they, they think that we're on a disc that's flying upwards, and that's what keeps us here. But the Earth is immovable, it's firm on its foundations, and does not spin. So, public school just indoctrinates us into believing that something that's heavier than the air around it falls to the ground because of gravity. It's not a real thing. It's never been measured. They don't know what it is. They regularly tell us that they don't know what it is. But because kids have believed it since they were five, they're programmed. That's hardwiring. You know, that's soldering. Like, that's... That soldering lies into your consciousness so that it's, it then goes into your subconscious and that's a foundational belief system. That's not real. And that's why these kids believe it. That's why I believed it two years ago. You know, I got back from Thailand. 
this never even crossed my mind. Never. But I still believed in the moon, uh, that we did not land on the moon. You know, so I don't... I don't know how I was able to hold on to that and never put two and two together that... <clears throat> the moon is just a light in the sky. How's your phone working? It works terrific, man. How about yours? Yep. Yeah, no, they're not, man. And if you gave me 90 seconds, I could prove it to you. Yep. Keep living in your fantasy world, man. I hope you wake up. See, that's funny. People think that satellites are real because of cell phones. That doesn't even equate to anything. And mock and ridicule and walk away. But you can't have a dialogue for 90 seconds. How's your satellite working, dude? Well, it looks great, considering that it's connected to a ground tower, and that ground tower is connected to fiber optics. So, how you doing, man? Space isn't real, man. Hollywood is not a proper representation of space, man. NASA's a fraud. He had a Star Trek or Star Wars T-shirt on with a bunch of uh, lightsabers. Yeah, I did. <coughs> Pardon me. I did. So if you rewind like 10 minutes, I answered your question. What's up, man? You laugh, but you won't engage, honey. I can prove it to you in 90 seconds. But she rolls her eyes and shakes her head because she wants to live in a false reality. I don't like being lied to. Like, why do you want to live in a lie? You know, if you're ignorant, that's one thing. If you're presented with new information, you laugh, man, but you won't engage so I can prove it to you. So, and if people love living in a lie and a fantasy, when I show them information that's alternative to their education, you know, you spend $30,000 a year on your education and that means that it's true, because that validates space. When Hollywood is predictive programming, to give you the illusion that space is real, and we've never landed on the moon. It's just a light in the sky. 99% of all communication done on Earth is through fiber optics and ground towers, not satellites. And if you can show me a picture of a real satellite, I'll buy you a pint for each one that you see during the ISS live stream. But nobody likes to play poker with me because I'm better than them at sh trying to reveal my hand I just got to go prideful on the bit there with that guy. So my apologies. My apologies. But I am. I'm playing poker right now. My hand is stronger than NASA's. And I'm just calling I'm just calling it. I'm calling their their cards. I see the flop. And my two hands, my two cards are better than theirs. Um, so, so with gravity, with the flat earth, the flat earth society will tell you that we live on a disc that's flying upwards. 
So if you think of a pizza, it's like just throwing the pizza up in the air. It may or may not be spinning, but they think they use controlled opposition to tell you through the Flat Earth Society that we're, we're accelerating upwards and that's what creates gravity on a flat Earth. And that's ridiculous. That's a ridiculous concept. How you doing? Good, how are you? Hey, I'm terrific. It's a wonderful day. Yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, it's kind of a social experiment. Okay. Yeah, what, what do you think about the statement? Um, it's pretty ludicrous. I guess so, yeah. Yeah. Have you ever have you ever seen a satellite? Yeah. Like, how have you seen one? I mean, just in the sky, I guess. You see lights in the sky, or you see this in the sky? Lights. Okay, yeah. so it may or may not be a satellite. You don't know, right? Okay, yeah. so did you know that NASA's balloon program is bigger than their shuttle program? No, I did not. Yeah, they actually just launched one in New Zealand on April 25th, which is the size of a football field. And it may or may not have communication, you know, properties to it. Yeah. Um, so I guess my point is, is does this look like a picture of a real satellite? That, no, no. <laughs> right? Of course not. You know? This is called Viasat. This is from France that will be launched on June 1st. Okay. So that's a month away, right? But yeah. they have a picture of it in space that's already. The yep, this is the Vi Viasat. Okay. So this is a picture of it in space before it's launched. Oh, okay. Does that make any sense? Yeah. Right, so, so if you Google image, yeah. satellites in space, all you get are CGI. Yeah. yeah. It is. Especially if you cite a Newsweek article from 2015, just Google Newsweek undersea cables, and that article tells you, in plain, plain sight, 99% of all communication done on Earth is through fiber optics and ground towers. And so, and that's fine. You know, mockery is the height of ignorance, you know, if you're not going to investigate it, yeah. you know, so, okay, well, I'll definitely investigate. so check it out, so thank you. Um, have you, have you ever seen Earth from space before? No. No. no I okay. I just, I know you probably got places to go, but I, I'm just doing this too. I just want to get this an question answered so I can go home. Okay. What is yeah. What size is America? Yeah. Which one of these two pictures shows the true size of what America is? Yeah. I, mean, I guess I can't really see that. <laughs> and, and I agree with you. Yeah. I agree with you because this is two official NASA photos really? from the Earth from space. Do you see any irregularities with the size of America in either of these two? I mean, yeah, that was basically. Yeah, right? Yeah. And unfortunately, a lot of kids here, I show them to this, but they still believe we live on a ball flying infinite miles through space. If all we get from NASA of where we live and satellites in space are all CGI, could my statement be true? Yeah, it's just my opinion, you know, but from my investigation, it's led me to stand here at this corner for the last, like, week in yeah, Minneapolis. Yeah. Yeah. So, what's your name? Emily, I'm Joshua. Nice to meet you. Okay, you too. And if you're interested, I have a YouTube channel. It's called Authentic Social Experiment. Okay. Check it out. I do this. I've, I've gone to St. Paul. Um, I went to the state capitol. I plan on going to Comic-Con tomorrow. Oh, really? Wow. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. <laughs> so they're doing Comic-Con like 4 to 8. There's a lot of people who believe in space that go to Comic-Con. Yeah. Well, good luck. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah, appreciate it, Emily. Have a good one. Float off the pizza. Um, I simplify it for people. I use the pizza illustration because even for me, it's hard to understand infinite. And so, if we live on an infinite plane, I use the pizza illustration to say that the crust is the ice wall that keeps the water in. 
so if you think about it like this, it's psychological warfare to make us believe that we live on a ball, because that's a prison planet. So if there's infinite land that the establishment doesn't want us to know about, they will create the idea that we live on a spinning ball, and then that's all the land that we have. That's all the water that we have. And that's why global warming is such a, a touchy subject with a lot of these kids here, is this is all we have. Like that signage that I saw at the March for Science. A lot of people were, wear, were holding the sign, there is no planet B. So if you understand that sign, that means that there's only plan A, you know, and that's Earth. That's our ball. So we need to take care of it. And so when you make people believe that we live on a spinning ball and not a flat plane that could be infinite, and you limit the simple minds here of this university, for example, this is just one university of the 50 states. This is a major university, the University of Minnesota. If you make people and kids believe that we live in a ball at a very early age, the concept of an infinite plane would never cross their mind. So they replace that with infinite universe, right? So there's an infinite universe that we need space travel to get to another planet that's billions of light years away, right? But we don't need that. What if there's billions of miles of land just right here? I hope that makes sense. Well, it, we just stay on the ground because you're just way more than the air around you. You know, does that make sense? So if your blood, how you doing, man? Good. So if your blood was, like, let's say helium, and you put enough helium in your body to make yourself float, then you would float because you have more helium, which is lighter than air, and then you would float. But because we weigh more than the air around us, your feet stay planted on the ground. So it's just really, it's just, you know, density and buoyancy. You know, they admit that public schools make us distrust our natural senses, you know. How you doing? Good, how are you? I'm terrific, thanks. And they use gravity as, a, as, as an explanation to explain everything away. You know, like Christians will. Well, you know, I don't know the answers but God, but the Bible, you know? So even Christians do the same thing. They say, well, I don't know God. I don't know the Bible. You know what I'm saying? And that's what a lot of these kids do with science. I don't know science books. I don't know Albert Einstein. I don't know Neil deGrasse Tyson. You know, so they reference their prophets, their idols, and if they really don't have an explanation, they say, I don't know, gravity. Yeah, so the, the reason that they lie to us about the ball is because they want to limit our... Go home, asshole. Yeah. And so, if there's infinite amount of land, you know, I know it's hard to imagine that, an infinite plane, okay, but bear with me. There's an infinite, there's infinite land, okay? And if the establishment knows that there's infinite land, but they create an illusion and in a deception that we live on a ball because they use the sun and the moon as their, you know, their, their proof, if you will. Then they put that idea 
on where we live. And they say, okay, well, we live here, and it's a ball, and it's limited space. Okay, does that make sense? Because if you live in a ball, that's all you have. You have only that space. You can't add or take away space, land, and water on that. So it's called a prison planet. So the reason why they want us to believe that we live in a ball is this is all we have. You know? And the only way to leave Earth and find more land, okay, does that make sense? To find more resources, we have to build a, quote, space program and fly to Mars, which is never going to happen, even though recently Donald Trump said that at 2033 he is ordering us to go to Mars. So it's kind of like total recall, you know, get your ass to Mars type of deal. Which is impossible. They keep pushing the date back. Because they keep giving people promises. And so, if there is an infinite amount of land, and they tell us that we live in a ball, there's no plan B. Like, there's, we just have Earth, right? So, I hope that makes sense. I, I kind of explained it like 10 minutes before you asked that question, Steph. So, love you too. Thanks. Hey, Steve, I'm just, you know, I'm just going on faith, you know, gravity's faith, so it's my right, my opinion to have faith in what I'm doing right now, just to boil it all down, and just to trigger you, okay, make you angry. You know, have you gone to these places? No, you haven't. Have you measured gravity? No. Have you measured outer space? No. Also, man. And that's... I was where you're at, too. It would have never crossed my mind that NASA would lie to me about where we live. But when all you get are CGI representations of where we live and satellites and space and everything, I'm calling their bluff. I'm calling them. I'm saying, all right, I think I got a better hand. You know, a lot of people who play Texas Hold'em think when they got pocket aces that they're going to win. You know? Alright. Back to you. I've lost signal a couple of times today. In places that I have almost a full signal. So whatever that means. You can be cons conspiratorial on the bit if you want, but... People don't like when they hear other opinions. They think that they can control other people. They think that if they say something, it will detract a person's viewpoints and ideas. does not make any sense at all. I heart Swedish boy. I heart a Swedish boy. I don't know. It's a really bizarre, really bizarre t-shirt. Had a couple people already stop today. 
who have seen me in the past hanging out here and they became curious. So I'm going to hang out here, try to hang out here often, try to really plant my feet in this area so that kids start to see that this is the real deal. Holy field, seeing a game, this is real life. Hey ladies. I know it's funny, but I can prove it to you. NASA's a fraud and space isn't real. I know you are, but that doesn't prove that space is real. That's like being a marine biologist and never seeing a dolphin. You know, I mean, these girls, they, oh, I'm a space engineer. Hey, that's awesome. Like these guys, these kids, like I know, I understand where they're coming from. Like, I'm this, I'm that. I know this guy who's married to her and the friends with that. But that doesn't prove anything. You know? That's just algorithms that they created to make you believe through their algorithms and, their, and, and the math that they give you. That gives you the illusion that what they're telling you is true. And because of numbers and math, you believe it. You don't believe your senses. You know? And I can prove it to you in 90 seconds. Yeah. Just keep living in a lie, man. That's all right. Yep. Yeah. I'm cool with living in a lie, he says. That's fine. That's how the establishment gets these kids to do what they want. You know, whatever the establishment says, they'll do it. Because they believe what they hear and see on TV. How you doing? Can't complain. Hey. How you doing? I think I'm going to start heading over to uh, I'll start heading over to the park and I'll have to be a little bit more intentional about communication because there's some kids hanging out laying down, you know, relaxing so, we'll go over here and see if we can't, just try to, try to get some conversations going.
Let's go down here. I haven't been down here before. So we'll walk on down here. Put a shirt on. Put a shirt on, man. We'll see who wants to talk to me. You know, most kids I think might be responsive. They might want to break from the monotony. So, go over here. These guys are hanging out in the hammock, and we'll just kind of canvas this area. Let's do a little Q and A. Hey guys and gals, how you doing? Good. I'm just kind of walking around doing a kind of a social experiment. Want to pique your interest? A little bit? Okay. I am. Do you, we're, I'm Facebook Live actually. Millions of billions of people from. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, I just got. I'm, you know, I, I just want people to answer this question so I can go home. Um, I just making a statement, and I got a question for you. Mm -hmm. You know, so uh, I got satellites aren't real. Yeah. What do you think about that statement? I disagree with it. <laughs> right. Pretty ludicrous statement, huh? Yeah. I disagree as well. Yeah. So, with that being said, does this look like a picture of a real satellite? No. Will you? No. Okay. So you got discernment on what is real and what's fake. Okay, so if this is a picture of a fake satellite in space, how do you know satellites are real then? Because of science, right? Like because of science, huh? No, no, no. They like, All right. like NASA posts images taken from like space shuttles, yeah. right? This looks like something generated on a computer. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Yeah. And so what if I was to tell you that all of the pictures, when you Google image satellites in space, this is all you get? Like, you get all CGI images from a third-person view of a satellite in space. What if you look on NASA's website? Boom. That's this. This is Viasat. This is a satellite that's supposed to be launched June 1st from... What would you take a picture of a satellite? I don't know. Another right. satellite? Exactly. Crash? I don't yeah. know. How do you take a picture of a satellite in space? I don't know. From the International Space Station? Yeah, I'll get to that. I'll challenge you. Uh, kind of. <laughs> I mean, kind of. I want to be done with this. I know. I want to be done with this, too. I want to go home, because I do this every day for the last week and a half, and nobody yeah. can nobody can debunk what I'm trying to offer. What do you offer? So what is that? Well, I'm offering you to, to, to read an article called Newsweek Undersea Cables, and that article says that 99% of all of our communication done on Earth is through fiber optics and ground towers. And the other 1% is landlines. So like old school phones and stuff, we still have that. What? Yeah. So that <laughs> equals... Are you Facebook living right now without like, you the wires connected? I don't, right? But what did I just say? All of our communication is done through ground towers. So how how what people perceive as global positioning system, it's actually called ground. And when your phone connects wirelessly to that ground tower... That's how you get cell phone service. And those fiber optics go to your, for example, you know, Verizon, Sprint, AT&T. Sure. But that's where it starts and ends. There are no satellites that communicate <laughs> with your phone. Okay, so then what's the... Wild. Is there a follow-up? There is. So she mentioned the ISS. Okay. Okay. So if you live stream the ISS at any point today or next week or whatever... It takes a long time to process. I know this is kind of information overload. But if you stream the ISS live, you will not see any satellites. I haven't. Right? And so if you watch it for like 20 minutes, count how many satellites you see. And if you see one, I'll buy you a pint for each one that you see. All of you. All four of you, I'll take you out to dinner. 
buy whatever you want if you can show me if one satellite. Satellites are real. Well, if all of that, all of the pictures that we get officially from NASA are all CGI, yeah. what conclusions could somebody come to? Yeah, that's pretty crazy. You know, and so what does this look like? You know, what does that look like? Right, a bunch of ninth graders, you know, science science experiment. This is what they tell us a satellite looks like before it goes into quote space. Yeah, but where is it? Well, I mean, it's on the it's on the ground, right? The establishment, NASA. And what does NASA have to gain out of any of this? Okay, so for example, if they make us believe when we're younger that we grew up on a spinning ball flying billions of miles through space, we don't. <laughs> okay. No, I just Hear me out. Yeah. Hear me out. Um, I'm mocking NASA. I'm not mocking you. I'm not. I'm mocking my own education because I thought the same thing you did 18 months ago. Okay. How did you like change your? What I'll happened? I'll bring you to that. Um, but if if they make us believe that we live on a spinning ball, okay, that limits the lands and the area, the surface area, right? Because that's 25,000 miles in diameter of Earth, right? So you see a globe, it's about 25,000 miles in diameter. Okay? But what if there was infinite land? Okay, I know it's hard to contemplate infinite, but what if there was an infinite amount of land and they psychologically warfare our minds when we're young to make us believe we live in a globe? And that's where global warming comes in. Because then it makes us the enemy of the globe because we only have Earth, right? Uh -huh. But what if there's an infinite amount of land? What does that yeah. mean for global warming? Then it just doesn't exist, right? Correct. Yeah. Have you ever looked into Agenda 21 or Agenda 30? No. Yeah. It actually makes humans the enemy of Earth. Yeah. Yeah. And that comes down to euthanasia. Yep. We have an infinite amount of resources. Well, well then, okay, so you don't think that, like, space and, like, you know how you go on a rocket? Yeah, you totally, yeah. Space. You go I, on a rocket. You're right, <laughs> yeah. Like, you just don't think that's real? I don't. They all arc. So, okay. like, you don't think that, like, when you fly in a plane and you go, <clears> someone can fly a plane around the world and then they get to the place that they thought they were going to go to, if there was infinite land, would they just keep flying forever? Yeah, can I, can I just give you a, just a really bizarre comparison? <clears throat> um, this is a picture of the UN flag. This is the official flag that's flown in New York of the UN. But it coincidentally looks like a flat Earth map. Well, maybe because you can't fly it through A flag isn't in two dimensions. I know, but what, what they do to us, they mock us regularly. Okay, they well, mock us... The game, though, out of mocking us. Because they know the truth, and if they send us all to public school and make us believe a lie, and they know the truth... So then why don't private schools tell us? How do you know private schools don't tell people that? I'm Maybe I went to a private school. I went, I Maybe went they did. Maybe you didn't. <laughs> I did. Maybe your family is not part of the bloodlines that run the earth to know this type of information. You know, that may or may not be true. <laughs> you know? So then how, did, how did you come to finding this? Um, I've, al I've always questioned my reality, personally. That's just me. I've always questioned. I was born with cystic fibrosis, okay? So I always question why they have not cured my disease. And, you know, <clears throat> the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation now has $3.5 billion off of an investment that they had with a pharmaceutical company 15 years ago. There's only 70,000 kids with cystic fibrosis on Earth right now. So why does a foundation have more money than most countries do? Okay. Right. You know, same with the Cancer Society. They're never going to cure cystic fibrosis, cancer, because they make more money off the backs of those who are sick. Oh, interesting. Okay, and I'm doing the march at Lake Calhoun on Saturday, and I'm going to inform everybody there that that's true, because I have an article to cite yeah. and to show that Cystic fibrosis may or may not be an act actually a selenium deficiency and not a genetic issue. And so, you know, I'm kind of, if you want to go like to that point of conspiratorial, because conspiracy is just two or three people getting together to talk about something, yeah. right? Yeah. So, but 
I saw a video called 200 Proofs That the Earth is Not a Spinning Ball. 18 months ago or so. Yeah. Um, and it kind of got my wheels turning a little bit. Yeah. Um, a couple of months ago, I stepped away from it because it was information overload. Yeah. And I, I didn't really completely buy it. Yeah. But I was led back to it again after a few months of kind of stepping back. And I had looked into it again, and now I'm here. Yes. So, and I do this every day. Here, or I'm going to go to Comic-Con tomorrow oh. at the Minneapolis Convention oh, Center. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of kids who believe in space at Comic-Con, right? Mm -hmm. Sure. And so, I'm just trying to provoke thought. What about, like, I don't know, I'm just curious, what about the people that, like, there's astronauts or whatever that yeah. do those like videos, those Facebook Live videos yeah. in the International Space Station. Yep. So you just think that that's staged? Um, I don't know all the answers, yeah. you know, but I can give you my opinion. Um, are you familiar with what the Vomit Comet is? No. Yeah. Okay, a Vomit Comet is something that you and I, a civilian, can actually pay to go on. And what it does is it climbs to a very high altitude and then it nosedives. Okay. And for about 90 seconds or so, you're able to simulate zero G gravity. And so my opinion is, is during the ISS quote live streams, behind the camera, it's kind of like the fourth wall, because when you watch TV, right, sitcoms, for example, yeah. there's the fourth wall, yeah, 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 where you yeah. never see the camera wall, right? Yeah. That's the same illusion that they give us on the ISS, okay. is that there's, a, there's usually somebody keeping tabs on when they're at zero G, like there's a light up in the top corner that we can't see that they know they're at zero G. And so they do their, yeah, that's when they'll do their crazy experiments of, you know, water floating in quote space. And then when they're not in zero G, they have harnesses around their waist. And so a majority of the time when you're watching the ISS, of the, of the quote astronauts, you'll only see waist up. No, I, oh, okay, I see what you're saying. See what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not saying all the time. I'm saying most. Oh, yeah. I'm saying most of the time you'll you'll see them waist up, and the background is green screen. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. See, I don't know if I agree with that. I mean, I. I, I, guess, I know. Like, yeah. It's yeah, new. I, you know, I've never been to space. I thought for the this game, information. Yeah. yeah. Why do I believe what I believe? I I thought the yeah. same way, uh, you know. So I'm not. I'm certainly not trying to mock you. I'm really trying no, to be honest yeah, here I, I, and and give you this information. So hopefully it can spark something a month from now because a lot of people don't think it's like well, what's the big deal right um, and I can't explain that until you know until you start going down that rabbit hill Interesting. you know so yeah so that's really all I got no I appreciate y'all listening and uh, you know 200 proofs the earth is in a spinning ball um, flat earth clues you know there's a lot of information out there and I have a YouTube channel that I do this every day it's called Authentic Social Experiment. Type it in, and you can watch all my other stuff and see my interactions with people. So, interesting stuff. Well, that's all I got. Yeah. So, I mean, let's see if you have any questions. Otherwise, I'm gonna yeah, maybe hit up walk, walk around yeah. and yeah, hit yeah, up some more people. Here. Right. Yeah. So, by. no, I appreciate yeah, you listening and just being open-minded. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. You too. No, they won't, Steve. I called the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation and they said it will be over 20 years. I don't have 20 years. There's kids dying right now in the hospital. Okay? There's kids dying right now in the hospital of a fake disease that they suppress information of. And if you want to believe that, that's your opinion, man. That's fine. <clears throat> See if these guys are hey guys, how you doing? Good. <laughs> Good. I was just wondering. I was wondering if I could ask you a couple questions. I'm just kind of doing a social experiment. Questions about what? This statement here. Satellites don't exist. Yeah. Satellites don't exist. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Um, just kind of Google image satellites in space. All you get are CGI's. Earth from space, CGI. 
So, I don't know. I know it's not something important right now, but maybe you'll be drawn to it like a month from now or something, but everything NASA gives us is all computer rendered. So, space isn't real. <laughs> I know. Yeah, have a good afternoon. Thanks. All right, this guy's balancing. Apparently he was going to go... He's going to go do Cirque du Soleil. You know? See what these fellas are doing. See what these guys... A lot of hammocks around here. <coughs> hey, how you guys doing? Good, how are you? Hey. Doing good job. <laughs> yeah. I was just, uh, I'm just walking around kind of doing a social experiment. You mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Yeah. 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 Right on. Um, what do you think about this statement here? Satellites don't exist. Yeah. That's bullshit. That's I know, it's a pretty bold That's statement. Pretty bold. Yeah. No, yeah. Believe, what if I was to be able to kind of lean you in the direction that uh, this statement might be true? Um, I'd be open I love that. conspiracy theories, so like, go ahead. Okay. Um, no planes? No. No planes? No planes. No, like 9-11, no planes. Oh. They don't exist? No, like, planes never hit the towers. Oh. Yeah. Just made up? Yeah, they, they CGI'd planes over missiles. All right. I mean, you said you were conspiratorial, well, I, you know, yeah, so like... 9-11's like my number one conspiracy okay. theory. I don't think it happened. Okay. Like, I think it happened. Yeah. It was an inside job, obviously. Okay, yeah, awesome. Yeah, but what about no planes? No planes? Do you think it was, like, from the inside? Uh, well, I think that they use missiles... And they CGI'd airplanes over that because of loop. I don't think there's any evidence. I was talking about like, the moon landing with someone this morning. Yeah. Or just like CGI airplane debris. And, like, like, think about it, right. an airplane exploding. Like, yeah. In the middle of New York City, or just like, you know, like there'd be. Like, <laughs> yeah. Gigant, like, area of, like, damage. I know, right? Yeah. So, yeah, aluminum can fly through a steel structure. I don't know. If you, if you ever YouTube or uh, Google image uh, airplanes hit by birds. Okay, so check that out. That should give you a better understanding that airplanes can't fly through steel buildings. But they wouldn't have made it through, and they yeah. wouldn't have made it like. What happens when birds are hit? Uh, they completely destroy the nose of an airplane. Birds do? Yes. That's insane. Yeah. So like, you're saying airplanes are like just like ridiculously light? Yes. <laughs> yep. That's. I don't, check it out. About. Yeah. So, um, does this look like a picture of a real satellite? It looks like a stereotypical one. Right, but yes. I mean. Does that this look... Yeah, that's that are, yeah, that is what we there you go. Okay, because I, I thought the same way 18 months ago. I thought, like, hey, you know, big deal, right? Um, what about, like, this guy here? Does that look like a picture of a real satellite? I would say... I would say I'd believe... If you told me that was a satellite, I would believe it. Me like, too. that's not what I have in my head. I don't actually know what satellite Yeah, <laughs> right? Like, that's... Yes. I've never seen one in real life. Right. Neither have I. But yeah. this is what they tell us they look like before they go into, quote, outer space. Yeah. But where is this satellite? Where is this? No, we have no evidence. But I mean, from the picture, where does this satellite show it to be? It's like on the ground. Like, yeah. yeah, it's on the ground, right? Probably, Definitely not in space. Probably by a bunch of fifth graders who won a Probably. science, you know, science contest. Yeah. But, uh, you know, this, yeah, this is CGI. This picture right here. Yeah, that's what we're told to look like. Right. And that definitely looks like a cartoon. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. And if you Google image satellites in space, get, guess what you get? That. This. Everywhere. All the time. Does that make sense? No, because they don't exist. So what's the social experiment? Okay, so 99% of all communication done on Earth is through fiber optics and ground towers. That makes sense. Okay, and then the other 1% is landlines, Ooh. old school phones. They don't really exist anymore. So, yeah, exactly. Um, so if that's 100% of all communication done on Earth is through wires on the ground and ground towers, where do these come in? That's insane. I've never thought about it like that. I've never thought about it either. So like, what so are like, the towers? Like yeah, so towers. so most radio towers and antennae have line of sight. And they're all on the ground. And they're all on ground. Yep. Telephones all work through the ground. Yes. It's like, basically like, <clears throat> why do they say satellites are like for cellular communication? Uh, because they're deceiving your mind and they want to control it. Because satellites don't really exist. Because they don't exist. Oh, yeah. Feel it. Right. And so, so walk with me here. Antenna need line of sight. This is our friend Patrick. Hey, Patrick, how you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing terrific. Um, so, most antennae work on line of sight, okay? 
And if there's a building or a hill or a long traveling time, there's pointing towers, which is P-O-Y-N-T-I-N-G. Okay. That's your 3G and 4G to communicate over long distances and in areas where there's building obstruction and stuff. I, I absolutely think you're right. Because like when I have cell phone problems, they all tell me that like I'm like within out of reach with the yeah. cell phone tower. But it wouldn't make sense because they all say it's like through the satellite. But like, is it really? Because Right. Go downtown crazy. Minneapolis, you'll have connection issues. Yeah. You know, that's why a lot of people want to use Wi Fi in downtown Minneapolis. And so your Wi-Fi is connected to a router, which is connected to an Ethernet cable, which is connected to fiber optics, which is connected to a tower. There you go. So what satellites play no, no, they have no What's place. What's the significance there? Well, the significance is, is that they're deceiving your mind to make you believe that we live in a, on this, which is also CGI. So if you look at both of these pictures, the United States is a different size. And these are official pictures from NASA. So the United States is different in both of those pictures? Yeah, you want to look at it? Yeah, check it out, you know? <clears throat> so they basically have like this like image of like what the world is and just like make us believe that's what it is. Yeah. Like, we have no proof of like... We don't, and we can't. We can't. We're just civilians. Yeah, we can't. There's no literally yeah. no way that we can... So, so we... Well, they're both false, sir. Yeah. I know, man. I, I, it's hard to believe. I don't think so. I know. But, it's, uh... It's a lot to think about. It's it is. About. Yeah. And, you know, once you start going down that ho rabbit hole, um, you know, pictures like this really start to make you question your reality. Yeah. Or, like, if um, the world is flat. Yeah. Makes sense. So, can I give you, like, an illustration? Because you said, like... What was it like? What's the point? Or like, how are they doing this? Or whatever. If if we grow up in school, like, and we're in first grade, we see the globe, right? That's called predictive programming. Programming. You know, there you're getting it soldered into your mind that that's our home, and you would never think to question your reality because you're taught that, right? And the teachers don't know any better because they're taught it and they're taught it and so on. It's just kind of a you know snowballs. But if there was, a, a, for example, an infinite amount of land and an infinite amount of resources, I know it's hard to picture infinite in your mind, but just roll with me here. If there's infinite amount of space and land and the establishment knows that and they want to keep you from knowing that, they'll limit our mind to a 25,000 mile radius globe. That's just insane I'm to sorry. think about. If the Earth's flat... Yep. Right? And infinite. And, and infinite. And also infinite. How does gravity work? Why are we stuck down? Uh, well, the educational system makes you distrust your own common sense. And that goes back to density and buoyancy. That so... Make any sense to me. I don't know. I know it doesn't make any sense because I also grew up in public school and everything can be explained away by gravity. But if I drop this on the floor... That's just because it weighs more than the air around it, and to give it a name and say that this is the end-all to be-all explanation, that's a religion. That's, it's something to think about. Like, it's honestly something to think about. Like, I've never, there, I've never thought sure, about. yeah, and I, I get where you're coming from, man. You're in school right now, so um, this idea would really never cross your mind. Yeah, no, that makes, that, it just, it's just a, like an outside perspective, Yeah. it just like makes you think. It, I hope like it makes you this, think, like, yeah. All this could be true, you know, like, there's no way that we can <coughs> Yeah, it's my opinion, mm -hmm. you know. So I'm just trying to provoke thought and just kind of make you question where we live. Because if you do live stream the ISS right now on your phone or your iPad or whatever for a reasonable amount of time, let's say 30 minutes to an hour. Like, I know that that's not, doesn't sound like a whole lot of fun, but I want you to prove me wrong so I can go home, Okay. I wanted, I've been doing this for about a week and I'm tired of doing this because nobody's been able to prove me wrong. But if you can show me a satellite during the ISS live stream, I'll give you a beer for each one that we see. It's, you know why though? I know what you're going to say. The ISS is a lot closer to Earth than <clears throat> any of the satellites are. Are they though? Yes. It's, okay. It's so close to Earth and it's moving at such an incredible pace. To so all your satellites look like this then, right? I, no. 
a satellite oh. just means something that's revolving around the Earth. But this is a man-made satellite, man, and this is how they tell us we communicate on Earth. Okay. Yeah. What's so all of your pictures of satellites in your popular science magazine, on Google, wherever, are all CGI. <laughs> I know. Sorry, where is this coming from? Uh, from everywhere on the internet and popular science, man. Wait, what? Yeah. Because they tell you, because it has to be. Why does it have to be? That's what NASA says, man. Wait, NASA says they all have to be photoshopped? Yes, sir. Bullshit? When did NASA say that? Well, if you just... I mean, I know this is new information, you know, so it, it's not going to really make a whole lot of sense to you right now. So I just encourage you, because I don't have all the answers, and I can't, like, s keep citing and giving you evidence. Oh, but I can give you provocative thoughts. Yeah, but I can give you provocative thoughts so that you can go down that bunny tray yourself. So then you can tr start to try understand your reality, man. Because the establishment doesn't send their kids to public school, if that makes any sense. The elite will not send their kids to public school because they want us to be at a lower frequency level than them so that they can continue to mock and ridicule us when I tell you that this is CGI and fake when then they know that the earth is flat and not a globe. I think there's a lot of, I don't know, there's, an, there's a lot of evidence I can back up both sides. There is. Yeah. Yeah, and... Because there's a lot of shit that, like, it would make sense if the world was flat. Mm -hmm. At the same time, it, it wouldn't. But does water like, curve? But like, but think about... Also, like, they're selling <laughs> private tickets to space. It, I'm sorry? We can buy private tickets to space now. For how much? For, like, For a lot of money, yeah, but you can go. But okay, but a civilian wouldn't be able to go. I could yeah. do it. Yeah, like, well, yeah, like, if you were rich, you could. You had a question? Like six years yeah. off, I could save that much money okay, for space. Water you cannot. It doesn't curve, right? Nope. But water is more dense than the air around it, right? And it always finds its level. That's why they call it sea level. You see how they mock us and they call it sea level? You no, know, but sea level isn't flat everywhere. It is, though. It's, no, it, it, it dips and it, it goes down and up based on the gravity of the, of the structures around it, you know? It goes down in the marinara trench and it comes up near land because there's more mass there and that's gravity. But like think about airplanes. And how they measure but they measure things. Airplanes they don't go around the globe. They like have like like a triangle <clears throat> they go through. Like yeah, so countries they go through like one way and then the other. They don't just go straight there. Yeah, no, they do go straight there. So if you it goes, it goes like Yeah. It's like a triangle. She's kinda right because if you go on Expedia or Priceline right now and you go from South America to Australia, you won't fly over Antarctica. You can't, it's very rare to find a one-way flight from those two locations. Because who the hell's flying that? But wouldn't it make more sense to go from one point to another is the shortest distance between two points? Instead of going through Instead of going to a connection flight? Weather conditions are different over Antarctica and maybe there's different... But you're 40,000 feet in the air, man. So how does, how does, <clears throat> I, I've been on a lot of flights internationally and I've never seen clouds 40,000 feet in the air. Well, there's not clouds, but there's <clears throat> Have you been on an international flight before? Yeah. Okay, have you seen clouds? Not clouds, but wind. Oh, okay. Yeah, wind? Wind. Okay. What they factor in when they make the course, because what has the best headwind, what has the best tailwind? I know, I know, man. I know you want to believe that, and this is new information for you. Why would they want to waste fuel? Did you know that when an airplane stops at a spot to fuel up, it's what? it's not called a connecting flight? So like on a one-way flight, an airplane can stop at a spot, not unload any passengers, refuel, and that's... That. <clears throat> yeah, they do. They do. They do do that. And that's how they deceive your mind into believing that you're flying on a globe and not possibly on a flat earth. So, if it's a flat earth, then they never have to stop to get gas? I'm sorry? If it's a flat earth, do they never have to stop to get gas? They do, but my point Where is... Where come from if the earth was... Yeah. I'm sorry, what? How do, you, how do you explain wind if the earth's flat? Uh, well, you can't explain wind because it goes wherever it wants to go. You can't predict no. wind. Yes, you can. Uh, not from, not generally, it no. From more dense areas to less dense areas. It always does that. But you're it basing this on a globe model and gravity. What? 
you're basing your concepts and your idea of reality through the globe model and, and gravity. Yeah, well, see, the reason that I'm doing that is not because the establishment has taught me something, but because I am constantly feeling gravity at literally always in my life. But you were taught gravity by the public Right, but I was also taught gravity that when I was born, I fell out. But and you fell out because you... I know, I know, up. man. I know. So, so you can measure God? I didn't say that. There well, is God. okay, so, but you can't... There is, he doesn't like me. Okay, but, yeah, he does. He died for you, so he does like you. No. Um, and so, okay. you can't measure... Oh, this is taking a... This is taking a surprise. surprise. Yeah, it's like, one thing but I'm... to get me to believe the flat earth thing, but it's another thing completely to try to get me to believe God. No, it's yeah, not, it's because, not because what's more powerful, God or gravity? Gravity. Gravity is, okay, so that's because your God. So that's your God. Oh, saying. okay. I only believe in science. You only believe in science. You know, a student said that a couple days ago when he said, if science tells me that light is red and I see it as blue, I believe science. Does that make what, any sense? I don't know what you mean by that, but science is real whether you believe it or not. I believe in science. I was born with cystic fibrosis. So I understand science. That, why? I, I bet there's a lot and of biology. cystic fibrosis that don't understand. Yeah, but you're not letting me hear out, okay? So if you could just let me speak. Um, I understand some parts of science. I don't know everything. I understand biology and all that, looking in a microscope and understanding the human body. That's science. But to incorporate that into being able to land on the moon or Mars, that's a deception, and that's a lie. <laughs> and you can't put those two in the same boat. So... So if you want, you can uh, YouTube the moon, Jupiter. There's a video, a two hour long video of the moon and Jupiter being seen through super high zoom lens. Uh, yeah, you can do it with a telescope. Yeah, sure. So I'll buy you a beer for every satellite that you see pass through, pass by the moon. <laughs> in between the moon and, and your camera. It should just be a, a black dot and then we can, and I can go home. Oh, but I hear people, but I just had conversations with people a few minutes ago that said that they see a light in the so sky and that's a satellite. So, what do, so, so yeah, let's just suppose that all this I'm is true people. and you're right. I don't know why. I'm, not, I'm not trying to be right. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to help your question, your reality. Yeah, and then, but then what do we do with it? Like, I don't know, man. That's up to you, you when, where you go. I hope so. Are we being deceived on who the establishment is? Yeah. the establishment? I mean, if you want to mock and ridicule me, that's totally your opinion, man, and you can do that. But I'm trying to just open your mind to a different level of understanding that may or may not have ever crossed your mind. Well, I appreciate so. what you're trying to do, just like make everyone question their shit. But at the same time, people are so stubborn, especially in Minnesota, they, they will stick to whatever they believe. Okay. Which, is, which is like, it's, it's different because like it, you're on a campus with very open-minded people. Yep. But at the same time, a lot of people stick to their ground. They like stick to their roots. They stick with like what they were taught. But at the same time, like I don't know, I'm the type of person who just like questions literally everything. So what you're All saying is like doing like, it's are, like, beneficial. The most curious people. I'll tell life. you what though, if if whatever you're saying is true, you're never gonna get people to believe it. Yeah. Hey. No, no I, agree. You know. I agree. Two years ago, I didn't think the same thing. It never crossed my mind. But now I'm here doing this every day. So, I mean, does the testimony of me doing this every day hold a little bit of validity that maybe at least one of the things that I said may or may not be true? No, not to me. Sure, and that's fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm, you don't know me from Adam. But I do have a YouTube channel called Authentic Social Experiment. Check it out, and then you can see what I do on a daily basis. I'll, I'll definitely check it out. You know, check it out. It's up to you. You know? No, I'm on Facebook Live. Yeah. So, and I up and I upload my videos from Facebook onto YouTube at the end of every night. And so... I think it's great what you're doing. Honestly. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. people don't believe what you're doing, like, uh, as long as you're, like, doing what you like to do, and that's, like, standing up for what you believe, I think that's amazing. And great. I, I think you should keep doing it. No matter how ridiculous Although people think that you are, it's, it's great just like... I used to be a salesman. Okay. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. That's how I became comfortable in talking to people in the public because I used to be where a lot of people are, you know, so I'm not going to like uh, discredit where a person's at, you know, I want to get people where they're at because not everybody knows everything and I don't know everything. But when I, when I feel like very strongly about something, and I've never done this before, but I do feel very strongly about the coincidences that all we get about satellites in space, Earth from space, are all CGI, I just scratch my head and I'm like, okay, what else is there? What other things are they deceiving us with? So. Well, here's, all right. Here's yeah. Here's a good question. So, we're kind of anti-establishment, right? I am very much so, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Um, one of the largest establishments to ever exist is the Catholic Church, right? Yeah, I was just at one this morning. But you believe in God. Uh, well, see, that's the thing, is I don't I don't believe that the Catholic Church is the end-all to be-all. I don't think that they speak for Christians. My relationship... That's my rela Catholics, I'm sorry? I'd say they probably speak for Catholics, not Christians. Yeah, right? most likely, yeah. And the, and the establishment uses Cath Catholicism in all of, their, all of the movies. You'll never see somebody like me who just has a relationship with Christ on a movie. It's always... A priest or somebody wearing the collar to represent that's the representation of God in Hollywood movies and so my relationship with Christ is just that it's like I'm talking to you guys you know I'm just like hey guys what's up if I do something wrong I don't go to a priest to forgive me of my sins I talk to Christ and he is the mediator between us and God and that's in 1st Timothy 3 so there's only one person that you can communicate to to talk to God. But basically what I'm getting at is yeah. if we're anti if you're an anti establishment, yep. how can you possibly be a Christian? Because that's like literally the largest establishment and longest standing establishment. Yeah. And so don't you think that they've been brainwashing you? No. Until recently American Catholics were literally speaking Latin prayers without knowing their translations. Mindless <laughs> saying prayers that they didn't know the, like, the true yeah. meaning of. Yeah. Like, it was literally robotic repetition. Right. And, like, there was no thought behind it. So, like, until recently, there was no free thinking or... No, there still isn't. There still isn't, but especially before the, the, they yeah. brought in the... the, the and now it's in with your spirit instead of, and also with you. <laughs> yeah, and also, and <laughs> also with you. Up, and also, and right. Easter. And with your yeah. spirit. <laughs> and I come across a lot of kids who were who grew up in the Catholic Church type of deal. I confirmed, yeah. yeah. And they hate and they hate God now. Yeah. You know? And I understand where they're coming from. <clears throat> it didn't it ten years ago, I'm thirty six now. And ten years ago is when I believed. So I was twenty six. So it took a process of me experiencing life and understanding that there is one truth in this reality, and that's God. Everything else doesn't matter. Away from God. And that's why they use the ball earth as a conduit of evolution. And so a lot of people have testified on YouTube with video to say that they were not a Christian before, but then when they started researching flat earth, it brought them to a relationship with God. Now whether or not you know, I should go around and say, hey, Flat Earth, let's, you know, praise Jesus. I don't do that. Because nobody's ever showed me a picture of the DirecTV satellite. I looked, I really honestly looked, and this is the picture that I got when I was looking for a satellite of DirecTV. You know, satellite TV, you know, satellite radio. I can't find any pictures of, of Cirrus satellite radio in the space. <laughs> I think that's because there's no market of people who want to buy pictures of those. But why not just take a picture of that though, you know? Why would they? They have no reason to. Well, I mean, to prove it, if all the pictures of Earth from space are CGI and we've been to the moon, <clears throat> shouldn't we have an actual real photo of the Earth from space and not CGI? <laughs> but how does this change yeah. like how someone lives? How does knowing all these things like change the way someone lives? Because the way I'm living right now is like 
the same as it would be if I believed the other thing, and like, I think I'd be just as happy. Like, I don't think it would change my way of, like, yeah, yeah. oh, the earth's if flat, my life has changed. Are you married right now? No. Okay, so you can't contemplate in your mind what it would be like to fall in love with a girl and want to marry her and live with her forever. I'm a very gay man. Well, whatever. But I mean, would it would it ever cross your mind to marry a guy and fall in love with him? You know what I'm saying? Like, do you have a boyfriend right now that you love? No. Okay. So until you have that experience... <laughs> are you, do you want a boyfriend or whatever? I do not. Okay. Okay, so until you experience somebody that you want to live the rest of your life with... I can't explain to you what it would be like to understand that we live on a flat earth and not a globe. I, I'm honestly, like, I... Does that make sense? not the first time I've heard of, like, the flat earth theory. Okay. But, like, I do get more convinced every time I hear it. Just a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit. It's just the gravity thing that gets me, man. It's, like, yeah. a lot of shit, actually. Like, what, if the flat was earth, like, if the, if the world was see? flat, why was Christopher Columbus believed to be wrong? Like, he no. thought the whole world was flat also. No, well, he was sent no, by the Catholic Church. No, no, he didn't think that, though. The, re the Greeks figured out that the world was a, gro a globe by putting two sticks in the ground like this. And but also, the church, is, the church proposed the Earth was flat initially. Yeah. yeah. And the church sent Christopher Columbus to a country that already had people no, in it. No, the church didn't send it. Yeah, the Catholic Church did. It was no, the Catholic Monarch. Church. Okay, well, that's up to you. Um, this is my opinion of what I've read, but they too tell us that Christopher Columbus discovered America when there were already people here. So you can't really yeah. discover something where somebody already lives. Yeah, he didn't discover it anyway. Europeans were there before him, anyways. Vikings. <clears throat> so who are the elite that are like feeding us this? This shit. Are they um, famous? Like, are they like some like high up? Like, does this go with like the Illuminati and like sure them having like government? Are there rich, 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 white Europeans? Yeah, your Rockefellers, your Rothschilds, Rosicrucians. It's just like the capitalist. You know, yeah, the, your royalty. They have bloodlines, you know, so if you do research bloodlines, all of the presidents who have ever been president of the United States are all related. <laughs> I've never heard that! That's so crazy! Though, right? That's true. Uh, I mean, yeah, because of Adam and Eve. Right. Right, but... So, of course they're all related, because no, they're all related. No, no, I mean, like, very much, like, cousins. I like to Who's think that cousins with Obama? <laughs> Who's cousins with Obama? Who? You gotta look into it, man. No one. I know, it sounds, it sounds crazy. It does, but... They're not ever gonna, they're not ever gonna let us marry somebody that's part of the establishment because we have corroded blood basically we don't have the bloodlines that they have that's why they all intermarry with each other but they don't do that anymore they do it yeah Hi. Kate Winslet what, what about her Kate, Kate Winslet sure but you don't know her personally do you no, so all your information that you get about Hollywood, politics, and everything are given to you by the establishment on TV, right? My baby boy? Oh, I think it very well be a Hunger oh Games situation. Kate! Kate! <laughs> so cute! I agree. Some I dystopian think, bullshit. I think, I think we're probably four, years, four or five years hey, from Kate. Hunger Games. Kate is right? <laughs> and what is Hunger Games? It's a dome, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the games are... So... Well, she shot the arrow up into the dome, right? Have you ever seen the Truman Show? Yes, I love that movie. That's predictive programming right there. It totally is, yeah. I mean, something to think about. Dark City? You ever seen Dark City? I haven't. Check that out. You know, that's more predictive programming. That the whole city is in a dome. So... What about, what about theories that are like, everything's a simulation? Um, I don't necessarily agree with that because, actually, you know what? I did a whole video about that yesterday, to be honest with you. I watched a two-hour presentation of Neil deGrasse Tyson talking to five other scientists on a panel about simulation theory. That's so cute. I think it's fascinating, but simulation theory takes away our human or organicness, if you will. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're trying to incorporate, like, with CERN, 
um, and the D-Wave computer, if they punch in their algorithm of what they believe the theory of relativity to be, and they put it into a supercomputer, and they press enter, the supercomputer will play out their theory, and then they will try to manifest that into our reality using CERN. Does that make sense? CERN is a massive particle collider. I know it is. I'm very familiar with what CERN is, yeah. Did you know that they're opening a new one up in China? Yeah. <laughs> right? So Why is that bad? It's awesome. No, it's not it's because because the oh the <laughs> they're they're affecting our reality and they're changing the way oh people oh people's God. consciousness is. They are. I think they're advancing us. No, they're they're drawing us away from our organic human side. Completely honestly. Yeah. I wish we weren't organic. I wish that we were all produced in the lab. The mom always wins. And then we would all be perfect. And we would give some of us extra oxygen and we'd be smarter and be put in leadership positions. Some of us would get less oxygen. Who is going to tell you? Who is going to tell you? The mom always wins. And we would be completely happy with that profession our entire life. So you want to be connected like like before like before Neo like before when Neo broke out of the Matrix? You know when he pulled the thing out of the back of his head? You haven't seen the Matrix? Yep. Yes, that world is what I want. Okay. <laughs> can I can I implore you not to think that way? Because I know that's a scary thing because you don't want to you don't want to fall into the beast system. That's the that's the Google beast system. They want us as humans to be connected to a Google global system. Oh my God! Can't wait. Wait, is it really global? Or is it more? Well, I'm just using that terminology so you understand. You know? You know so what I'm saying? Like, they want us all connected together in a massive supercomputer consciousness. I want that. No, you don't. I, I gotta say, I haven't experienced it yet, and I really want to try. Because I've done this. It would explain why we're all getting more stupid. Well, yeah. I would say so. I think technology has made children very lazy with their education yeah. and have, have made them depend on Google and the internet. Yep. Yes, I'd say so, but I'd also say when else in history has a five-year-old been able to tell you? In the 1960s and 70s, people were writing papers and having to read like hundreds of books and like write all of their bibliographies by hand and fucking like edit them and like think about but, like but you also have to what standard were they held to versus what standard are we held to I don't know their standard was definitely higher I don't know if you can say that man okay well we can what if they're using technology to dumb us down and the food and GMOs and vaccines and all that if GMOs did not exist we would have a massive hunger problem are you sure GMOs that we don't GMOs taste so good I love them <laughs> All right. So good. I they mean, taste amazing, and they're the reason why food is the price that it is, and it would be a lot higher cost. All right. Well, much more inefficiently without them. I would suggest looking at alternative ideas about GMOs, vaccines, and the like. Oh, and a, a, I, what are you anti that too? Yeah. How? Yeah. Oh my God. Asperger's, autism, I have autism, people dying. Yeah, do you take? People die from autism. But do you take like your yearly flu shot and stuff? No, actually, I okay. don't. I'm too fucking lazy to get a free flu shot. Well, good. I mean, that's. I'm just giving you my opinion on 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 my experience. It's gotta be the vaccines. Yeah. Well, it may be a combination of a lot of things, like GMOs, chemtrails. <clears throat> so. But I should probably let you guys go. You know, I don't want to wear out my welcome, if you will. But authentic social experiment on YouTube. Check it out if you're interested. I'd encourage you to just to just think in an alternative manner. Stick with her. She might know a couple of things. So. I appreciate you guys listening, though. Have a good day. Yeah, you guys have a good weekend. Thanks. See ya. Bye. All right. So that was good. What do we got? Twenty more minutes. Twenty more minutes. We'll just hang out.
Had to be a little. Oh, that cracked my. Had to be a little bit more intentional today. Boy, the sun really went away. It's a little cloudier now than it was before. It's still nice. It's about 21 degrees here. <clears throat> Good interactions. I think I might head up a Twins game. Stand in front of the tar um, target field during a Twins game. wonder if they're playing on Saturday. I might be able to go to a Twins game before I go to Comic-Con on... Or what am I doing on Saturday? No, I'm going to the walk. Going to the CF walk. So after the CF walk, maybe there's a a late night twins game on Saturday. I saw some people walking back and forth from Target Field a couple of days ago, so maybe they have a, a series. But I'll look it up. So we're back. We're back here. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. Appreciate everybody's support and encouragement. And, uh, you know, if you get bored, come back. You know, I know these segments are long. Sometimes not a whole lot of communication and interactions are going on, but I try to keep you entertained, but there's not really... This is different, you know, it's not uh, it's not a Google Hangout, it's just me hanging out with people. So, hang out here for another 20 or 25 minutes, probably split around 7-ish, 7, 7, 7, 7, 10 or something like that. Try to just... Keep these at two hour segments. <clears throat> We're just planting seeds. You know, a lot of people, this would never cross their mind. Careful, they got cameras everywhere. They're watching you guys. So. <laughs> How you doing? Good, how are you? Terrific, man. Thanks. Careful. Anybody ever played Tony Hawk Pro Skater back in the day? Used to love that game. That was the bomb. What was that like early 2000s, something like that? 99 ish, 98, 2001, something like that. That was fun. Tony Hawk Pro Skater. It's just like button smashing, basically. How you doing? Yeah, how are you? Hey, can't complain. On sun went away on me, but yeah, I, I know, right? Like, no, yeah, up. thanks. Have a good one.
guy needs to put some more air in his tire. He's probably working harder than he needs to. If he had more air in his tire, he'd be all right. Let's see if this guy has anything to say. I'm going to ask these guys a question. Yeah. Church Street. Church Street? Yeah. I don't know, man. I'm sorry. Maybe these guys know. Excuse me. Run. Run. Hey, I got a question for you real quick. Yeah? If one of you believed the Earth was flat and the other believed it was a globe, do you think that this relationship would work? Yeah. Probably? Okay. Check it out. Yeah, you too. That's encouraging. So, anybody who says a flat Earth or a globe can't live together, these guys could make it work. Lions, not sheep. What's your shirt mean, man? Lions, not sheep. Lions, not sheep. Do you like it? Yeah, I mean, depends. Do you yeah, consider your? Consider, right? Yeah, do you consider yourself a sheep? Uh, I wouldn't think so. No. No.
Do you believe that we live in a ball spinning millions of miles through space? I mean, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> Curious where this is going. What do you got to tell me? Sure. Just, just ask me what I want. Yeah. You know? Well, what do you think about my statement? Satellites don't exist. Yeah. What do you, you want to expand on a little yeah, bit? Yeah, sure. Me what you're saying? Uh, does this look like a real satellite? I mean, my perception yep. of my, my visualization of when, I, when you say satellite, that's probably the picture that comes to mind. I don't sure. know if they all look like that exactly. But. Okay, well, th what about this? This guy? Perhaps, that, yeah. Okay. On the ground? Yeah, it's on the ground, done by a bunch of sixth graders, probably at a science fair. Okay. Okay, so if this is a real satellite that may or may not be working, but it's on the ground, yep. NASA tells us that this is a satellite in space and it's CGI. Okay. Okay, so if 99% of all communication done on Earth, if 99% of all communication done on Earth is through ground towers and fiber optics, and the other 1% is landlines, that's 100% of communication not done on satellites, so does, could my statement be true? I mean, you know, everyone kind of, uh, as subjects, you know what I'm saying, on this world, you know, we yeah. all, uh, interpret evidence and we perceive it differently. Okay, so, I mean, so if you were yeah, to... Yeah, you think that way, man. Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know if I totally buy it myself, but that's, that's hey, all you that's know. cool, man. Um, but if you were to Google image satellites in space, and the Earth from space, all you see are CGI images. Yeah. So is CGI real or fake? I mean, that's up to the uh, individual to determine that, man. You've seen Disney Pixar movies? Once or twice, yeah. Okay, sure. So when you see a computer image on the screen, is that a real representation of reality? Could be. I don't know. It just depends how you interpret it, you know, man? I mean, I know you're trying to avoid the, the, con the conversation here, but... No, I'm let's not, be like, real. The conversation. I, but let's like, be real, man. If all that they give us about objects in space are CGI, how is it that satellites are telling us and giving us the communication that we have, like cell phones, TV, guess radio? They're us lies, man. They are. I and if you go eat stuff and if you believe their lies, you're a sheep. <laughs> so, the irony of that guy's T-shirt. All right, well. Okay, Brian. Because you know better than I do, right? You've, you've done all your research and you're more informed, right? So, that's your opinion, Brian. That's your conclusion. That's fine. You're entitled to it. <clears throat> yep. I read Red Red. Thanks, bud. So when all the satellites and all the information that we get of stuff in space is all CGI, Yeah, and that's your interpretation, Brian. It's great. Funny how people can interpret the Bible incorrectly and create false religions called the Catholic Church, but people believe that. So, clearly this is my opinion to you. How you doing? But thanks, man. Appreciate your feedback. Yeah, thanks, man. I've read the article, and it says that fiber 
up to times faster than what they tell us of satellites are doing. And satellites don't exist. If you want to believe CGI images of space and Pixar movies are real to you, that's totally your opinion. But I'm tired of being lied to. And it's a free country to propagate whatever information I want. And then people can come to their own conclusion. But if you want to believe the CGI images of Earth from space... How you guys doing? Good, good. good. That is up to you. In a case, you don't find a dead body, most likely you're going to get acquitted. So, show me a satellite in space that's not CGI. So that's, you know, if you can't show me a, a real picture of a satellite in space, or Earth from space, and you believe CGI, your discernment needs to be sharpened. And since there's no body, since there's no satellite, then that means that it is not real and never happened. So, appreciate your feedback. Yep. yep. But we need to travel international data. Shouldn't we just use satellites? Hmm, weird. Where are all the satellites? It's all ground towers, man. And if you believe the CGI that's going on on the ISS live stream, then you're deceived. If you believe that the ISS is actually floating in space, and satellites are real, then you show me a picture of a satellite from the ISS live stream. You know, all you got to do is just do a screenshot. It's not that hard, you know. Get your telescope out. You know, because obviously you have a super high power telescope that you bought for $5,000. Put that on the moon and super zoom into the moon so it covers your entire visual perspective. Count how many black dots fly by your visual perspective. Why do you, why do you, but see, if we live on a globe, dude, why do we need to have undersea cables, right? We shouldn't. Because satellites aren't real. Show me a picture of a real satellite, man. Show me a picture of a satellite. You know, so you're telling me that there's satellites just floating over America, just specifically floating over Europe, you know? Why isn't there satellites floating over Africa? You know? The internet brings population growth. You know, why, are, why, why don't we just have internet everywhere? We don't.
cool, man. And he does things differently. I talk to people face to face, you know, and not a lot of people do this, so this is this is what I do. And if people want to do hangouts and draw people to flat earth, that's cool. They can do that. So, satellites aren't real, man. Yeah, international means Earth, dude. All communication on Earth is through fiber optics. So if a fiber optic cable goes from Europe to America, <coughs> and then all that fiber optic cable is strung out through America, you know, where do satellites come in? How you doing, ladies? So international is Earth, dude. It's alright, man. I understand. You know, that's like saying globally, you know. Earth. International. Yeah, so, so international means from America to Canada, right? That's international. America to Mexico. America to South America. That's on Earth. on two hours now so we're just gonna start heading back it's a good day good conversations good experience you know people want to find their niche I just encourage people to find their niche and share it with people you know cuz someday you're gonna have to talk to people face to face about this topic you know we can't we can continue to get a get a community together through hangouts and YouTube and stuff but you know I'm, I'm not gonna cite You know, I'm not going to turn the sun or 3,000 to 4,000 miles away. You know, that's not going to draw people's attention. What does draw a person's attention is CGI images. You know, fakery. <sighs> Passing computer images off as real. SpaceX. Shuttle launches.
Yeah, that's her opinion, man. That's fine. You're entitled to that. But what you're saying is, is that satellites are real because they hover over America then. So show me a satellite in America, and I'll go home. You know, you're saying that, yeah, okay. Undersea cable from America. But then you're saying that satellites exist because we use satellites over America then, right? So, so there's only satellites orbiting over the continental United States and Europe and, and Australia, but they don't orbit around the Earth over sea, right? So when airplanes lose signal with the ground towers to find out where they are, <clears throat> That's a satellite. Yep. You, clearly you haven't watched all my videos, either. I do cite undersea cables. Undersea cables from Europe to America? Where do satellites come in? They don't. Because they don't exist. They're not so, my connection's getting a little choppy, so... So if you look at the sun coming through the sky and through the clouds you'll see it coming down at different angles if the sun were 93 million miles away wouldn't the sun's rays all come at us at a 90 degree angle there shouldn't be any 45 50 degree angle 60 degree angle so it almost makes like a pyramid shape from the top down at an angle. Yeah, but we don't have underwater here in America. You know, we have ground towers. So, all right, guys. Well, thanks for stopping by. Appreciate everybody's appreciate everybody's time and watching the live stream in Dinky Town. We're gonna hit up Comic Con tomorrow and tell kids that space isn't real and we can't travel to Mars, and that all your movies from Hollywood are fake that represent space and where you live and they're lying to us so have a good day see you guys